All right, so we got Elden Ring Shadow of Ear Tree. Everything to know, I think the Elden Ring update is dropping this week. I'm super excited about all the raids, compilations, all the gameplay, the bosses, etc. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go to the Elden Ring is finally getting its much anticipated Shout DLC the game spot. in Shadow of the Erd Tree. Currently, this is the only DLC Shadow of Erd Tree, sorry. Elden Ring, and it is a big one. So, let's talk about everything we know so far. All right, let's go. I'm going to sit back and, like, actually watch this one because I, I actually want to know. Shadow of the Erd Tree continues Elden Ring's excellent open world gameplay style with players coming to the Land of Shadow. According to director Hidetaka Miyazaki, the Land of Shadow is just as large of an area as Limgrave, if not even bigger. It's the largest DLC the team at From Software has ever created. The exploration will be just like that of an area from the main game, with the Land of Shadow including open field exploration, smaller dungeons, and legacy dungeons. Okay, now that was nice. That was hard. Travel to sites of grace, that was honestly hard. Just like in the main game, and once you've unlocked Sites of Grace in the Land of Shadow, you'll be able to fast travel in and out of it. In an interview with Famitsu, translated by Reddit user The Angry Furlong, director Hidetaka Miyazaki explains that the DLC area will be unique in how the player's stats work. He compares it specifically to Sekiro. Separate from the original level system, there is an attack power that is only enabled in the DLC areas. From the rest of Miyazaki's answer, it seems this was done so both low level and higher level players can access the DLC without the higher level players being too overpowered to properly- They're talking about the me versus y'all. In Sekiro, defeating bosses gave the players memories. These memories could then be used to increase the player's attack power. So the more bosses you defeated, the more powerful your character would be. The order in which you do this in Sekiro is mostly non-linear, meaning you can save some harder bosses for later when you've obtained more memories and are more powerful. Wait, the bosses have memories? So, Shadow of the Earth Tree works in a similar manner to Sekiro. This could mean that going to a smaller dungeon and tackling an easier boss would increase your attack power and get you more prepared for the legacy dungeon. That bosses. boss is not easy. Although, if you want an additional challenge, you can probably fight the legacy dungeon bosses. Something I've been wondering is if I need to prepare a brand new character where I haven't completed any of the endings from the main game before tackling the DLC. I've wondered if you could unlock a brand new ending by completing the DLC. Well, in the same Famitsu interview with Miyazaki, they asked if the DLC affects the ending of the main story, and he responded that, no, that won't happen, and events of the main story will also not affect the DLC. The story of the DLC will be contained entirely within the DLC. We've also learned that there will be an abundance of new weapons, spells, weapon arts, and more for players to find and even saw some of these in the trailer, such as a brand new aspect of the Crucible, where the player sprouts wings. While the Crucible Knight uses this in the main game, this is the first time the players now have access to the same ability. Oh no. Y'all know me, listen, I am a magic player. Uh, I don't care what you say. ...has the player following the path of Mikola into the Land of Shadow. Okay. Mikola, for those of you who haven't played in a hot minute, is one of the children of Merica and Radigan, and is sibling to Melania. Unlike many other From Software DLCs, Shadow of the Earth Tree also takes place in the present and doesn't have players traveling through time. Okay. While we don't know much about the Land of Shadow, there are many interesting aspects about it we've been clued into. Firstly, in order to reach the Land of Shadow, we're told in the trailer description for Shadow of the Earth Tree that it was to this land that Mikola departed, divesting himself of his flesh, his strength, his lineage, of all things golden. It seems based on this, at least, that the reason we find Mikola in his cocoon looking the way he does is likely because he divested himself of his flesh, maybe even killing himself, similar to what Ronnie had to do in order to get away from the influence of the fingers in order to reach the land of shadow. Wait, what? We also learned further something that many of us already suspected, that Mikola is far scarier than the initial game led on, as the trailer tells us. Oh Pure no. Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. We also know from the Bewitching Branch that the Empyrean Mikola is loved by many people. Indeed, he has learned very well how to compel such affection. This all makes it sound like Mikola has learned how to use people to achieve his means. I know I'm not the first person to make this comparison, but everything about Mikola is highly reminiscent of Griffith from Berserk. While Griffith comes across the most as a godly and virtuous person, there is a deep, dark side to him and I suspect there's the same with Mikola. So why Wait. is Mikola in the Land of Shadow? So this is Melania's well, brother? we don't know. But we were told that the Land of Shadow is a place obscured by the Erd Tree 
where the goddess Merica first set foot. Oh but no. This line is especially interesting because we know that Merica isn't from the lands between where the main Elden Ring game takes place. She's a Newman, and the Newman are said to have come from outside the lands between and are in fact of the same stock as Queen Merica herself. So, Either the Land of Shadow is where the Newmen are from, or the Land of Shadow is where Merica first went to before coming to the lands. Oh, we're doomed! According to Miyazaki, the Shadowlands are where Merica became a god and where the Earth Tree was born. Wait. The Land of Shadow seems to be draped over by a giant baldachin. While we see a baldachin in the Queen's bedchamber, a baldachin is a type of veil, and veils throughout the game are used to make things invisible. The Black Knife Assassins were concealing veils that make them invisible, and the Mimic's Veil allows the user to appear as a nearby object. It's especially interesting, then, that the Mimic's Veil is also known as Merica's Mischief. Could Merica be behind the giant veil covering and obscuring the Land of Shadow? From Maybe. Miyazaki, we don't the know. The Shadowlands have been removed and hidden from the outside world, and this veil is a symbol of that. As Merica became a god in the Shadowlands, it seems pretty likely to me that she would have been the one to hide her from the world, as there's probably something there she didn't want anyone to find. Dang, she wasn't hiding. No, uh, she wasn't hiding the world from her kid. She was hiding Another the kid from the world. The land of shadow is that everything here seems to be blasphemous. The things that the Golden Order would have shunned, from omen horns everywhere to enemies using aspects of the Crucible to snakes and dragon references. This comes into play, especially with the new key figure of Mesmer the Impaler. Mesmer would seem to have every bit of blasphemy tied to him. He also seems to be another child of America's and is seen sitting on a throne. According Bro. to Miyazaki, this represents the thrones at the base How of the How many country. kids does she have? It's supposed to symbolize that Mesmer stands on equal footing to those other demigods and children of America who sat around in these thrones and held the rooms of the Erd Tree. Look at this it menace. Seems from the DLC that Mesmer does America's bidding. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Oh no, we ain't doing While that. this is the general story we know, from the first trailer, there were many, many things we, as a community, were able to find and piece together. I'm not going to go into a full trailer breakdown here, but I actually made one for GameSpot right after the trailer release that you can go watch. Wait, now, really? There are some big questions I actually want to go watch that. And many others have that we're hoping will get answered here. We still don't know much about Melina, so hopefully this will be answered. As Shadow of the Earth Tree follows Mikola, it's fitting that accessing the DLC then requires the player to reach Mikola's cocoon in Mogwin Palace. We also know that players will need to have defeated Radon as an additional requirement, although the reasoning for this is less clear. Wowzers! Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree releases June 21, 2024. Okay. It is available for every system the game originally released on. On its own, the Shadow of the Earth Tree expansion costs $39.99. The premium bundle, which includes the Elden it's Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree digital art book and original soundtrack, costs $49.99. Notably, okay. neither of these include the base game. If you want the base game included, you'll have to purchase Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree edition, which costs $79.99. Oh. But it's only available for the PS5, Xbox Series X, or Steam. So if you wanna if you wanna buy the DLC in a full game, game, it costs like $80. Includes the base game, Shadow of the Earth Tree expansion. Elden Ring digital art book and original soundtrack, and the Shadow of the Erd Tree art book and soundtrack. For $250 on PS5, Xbox Series X, or Steam, you can purchase the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree Collector's Edition. Oh, wow. This edition includes a physical hey, box that has in it a Shadow of the Erd Tree expansion voucher, a Mesmer than Paler figurine, listen. a collectible. The only collect listen, the only collector edition I'm buying is GTA's uh, collector edition. I'm just being honest with you. Whenever. Uh, I like it whenever I have like, I have like a full like, you know, um, like statue of like, you know, of of Lucia, <laughs> then I'll buy that. But other than that, listen, for this video, I kind of wanted to sit back and like, you know, learn because um, at the end of the day, I, I really don't know anything about uh, like uh, how do you pronounce it? Ear tree or tree? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know how to pronounce them. So my bad. Other than that, I'm gonna be honest with you. Melania's whole family is just evil. Like Melania's whole family is just nasty and corrupt and just villainous. Because uh, what was it, Nikolai? Nick? Is that the guy's name? Nikolai? Whatever his name is, Nikolai. Turns out that's the sibling of Melania, uh, older sibling of Mel bro. You're who? And and so that means that he's evil. And uh, first of all, bro, like listen, let's be honest, bro. Melania was like. Bro, OD just like especially for like people who don't even play like 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 Souls type of games, bro. Millennia was just like a different. She was a different demon, you know, to to us, you know, newcomers. 
Bro, imagine what this, bro. We haven't touched, listen, I haven't touched Elden Ring in two years. Uh, many people haven't touched Elden Ring. First of all, many people didn't even finish the game. Let's not act like, you know, people finish the game, whatever. No, many people didn't even finish the game. Um, did I finish the game? It's none of your business. But listen, many people didn't even finish the game, right? It's been like, for me, it's been like a year and like nine to ten months since I even touched the game. So, um, best believe I will be rusty. Best believe I will die a hundred thousand times. Um, cause I'm a thousand miles away again. But listen, I, I will like die like a few hundred, uh, a few hundred uh, thousand times. It is what it is though, because listen, if we got to face this Nikolai guy, whatever, best believe I will give him the beat down. It is what it is. You'll, you'll get the same beat down like your sister did or, or, or like your, or, or like your brother did. I don't know if, if Nikolai is a guy or a girl or whatever, it, 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 it doesn't matter. Cause guess what? These, the, these hands are ready for, are ready to eat for everybody. I promise you, Nikolai, uh, what's the other, what's the, what's the girl's name? Murmur, murmur death, uh, uh, perma death, murmur death, whatever your name is, you're getting the hands too. It doesn't matter. I, I listen. I promise you, I don't care, man or female. I promise you, you're getting this guy right here. Getting the hands, uh, Nick, Nikolai, Nick. You're getting the hands too. It doesn't listen. Everybody in here is getting the hands. Okay, I don't care how big you are. I don't care how how many. Uh, if you're the king of flames, bro, it doesn't matter, bro. Cause guess what? You're getting the hands. Okay, it, it it will never matter. Other than that, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about the whole story about the shadow of Ear Tree of Elden Ring comes out literally next week? I thought it was like sixty dollars at first, but it, it turns out it's, it's going to be forty dollars. Um, other than that, man, I, I'm I'm really excited for the uh for the update. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm really excited for like the, for like the bosses and stuff like that. I'm also excited for like the uh for like the raids compilations and stuff like that. So comment down below if you guys want to see my reaction to all those and stuff like that because I'm definitely gonna be there. First day looking at all these streamers and YouTubers rage. Uh, Y'all would never catch me raging on this game. I promise you. Games like this, I play, I, I play in private, okay? So other than that, <laughs> you guys will never get that reaction out of me. But, but listen, best believe I'm going to be seeing Kai Sinet, XQC. I'm seeing, bro, I'm seeing all these streamers rage, bro, and throw a fit. It's going to be, bro, hilarious. I'm going to be eating popcorn just like y'all. Other than that, man, like I said before, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about the story? So you guys got to make some out. And 